My name's Rebecca. I'm the wife of a soldier. My husband came from deployment for the third time 13 months ago. Every time, a little less of him comes back. Almost ready? Yeah. Just give me a sec. All right, I'm gonna be inside. All right, one moment. Brian? Dude, what's up, man? How's it going? Dude, welcome home. Like, when'd you get back? Uh, like 12, 13 months ago. <clears throat> Are you serious? Yeah. Dude, where have you been? Like, oh, you uh, should have told me, man. I mean, I would have came out, you know, like. Just, you, you know, stuff with family and everything just kind of yeah, lost well, track of time. And um, I'm sorry, man. No, I'm, Look, I'm sorry. It's just picking up some scripts. I... Robbie. <laughs> hey. Nice seeing you. Yeah, you too. Um, we're having a party tonight at 7.30, 8 o'clock. You want to come by? It's going to be fun. You sure? Yes, I I think it'd be great for you to come by, hang out. All right, yeah, why not? It really is good to see you. Me too. Have you talked? He's just not the same. Let me introduce you to her. Rebecca. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. Rebecca, this is Ian Carter. I mean. Hi, nice, nice to meet you. you. Uh, the tour guide, right? Yeah, yeah I, I'm a tour guide over the D-Day Museum. Uh, have you been there? D-Day Museum? Yeah. Um, no. You live in the city, have you never been to D-Day Museum? No. I, uh, actually, last week I had to take, take the Olsen twins on a tour around there. And you should have seen the security for them. I have never okay. seen anything like that. It was out of control. Why don't you come by? I'll give you a free tour if you like. Oh. Let's see how it works. So tell me some things about being a tour guide. Oh, it's okay. There's some nice things about it. What happens when, when so you do you it? Tell me there's a lot of privacy in the bathroom. I think fun. you can guess. Oh. I think you can do whatever you want? It's okay. <laughs> what are you talking about? Get your damn foot off the table. That's what I'm talking about. Are you fucking serious? Brian, it's okay. It's all right, it's no big deal. I'm so sorry. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you. It was really fun. Bye. Just 
one normal moment, just one day where we could just pretend like we're happy and you have to go and blow it. I have, I done, I have done everything I can and you won't let me in. I feel like I don't even know you anymore. Who are you? You think I want to feel like this? Huh? You think I want to wake up like this every single day of my life? Of course I want to be happy. You wouldn't even begin to know what this is like for no, me. I wouldn't because you are shutting me out. You think I can just flip a switch on the wall and it fixes everything? It is not that simple. Do you still? Of course, I still love you. We used to be so happy. And we said that we were going to start a family. And now I have you here in your home with me, but I feel like you're not even here. I don't know what's wrong with me. And if I did, I wouldn't even begin to know how to fix it. When I'm away from you, I miss you so very much. When I'm over there and the things that I've seen that I've done, I mean, they are for my family too. When I come home, I don't know how to act with you, and I, much less anyone else. Let me help you. You know, I would do anything for you. Brian, I would do anything for you. But you have to let me help. You have to tell me what to do. You are the man that I married. And nothing is ever gonna change that. We're gonna get through this. I remember he told me on our first date that I was more surprising than snowfall in the desert. For our second date, he rented out the park. And then he made it snow.
At least I had him back for one night. <laughs> but he's going home. <laughs>